today we're looking at a rather special motorhome, this Cotago Chic S Plus I-58. All 165,000 pounds worth of it in this rather fetching silver line trim. It sits on an Iveco daily chassis, a six and a half ton rear wheel drive chassis with a 205 horsepower engine. That powers this monster vehicle along and it can actually tow up to three and a half tons. So not your average motorhome and you will have to make sure that your driving license is up to coping with such a beast. Before we go inside though, let's have a look at some of the features that make this vehicle different and special on the outside. Like most Continental A-Class motorhomes, the only cab door is on the passenger side, but it's not really an issue because you have got the habitation door on the other side as well. And on this van, you have got an electric step for this door, which is an unusual touch. External storage is a little different too. These hatches lift up coach style and you've got double floor storage right the way through full width of the motorhome. So masses and masses of external storage and you really can use it in this vehicle because you've got, well, a standard 1.3 tonnes of payload, potentially if you go for a, a heavier chassis, as most people probably will, well over two tonnes of payload. Now, when you see the size of the garage, you'll appreciate that you really could use all that capacity. Plenty of room to carry a motorbike, bicycles, barbecues, outdoor furniture, whatever you want on your holiday, sporting gear, it can all go in here. There's plenty of room and plenty of payload. And there's also an external shower on the far side. So if you've got stuff that gets mucky, you can just quickly hose it off. There's a 235 litre fresh water tank too, so you won't run out of water in a hurry. Of course, the Iveco has got twin rear wheels as well as rear wheel drive, so plenty of traction, uh, especially useful when you're towing. And then the habitation door, well, if you're used to the flimsy sound of a lot of motorhome doors, listen to this. More like a bank vault. And then the step, well, that does a bit of a party piece too. Despite its eight and a half meter length, driving this Cotago is not actually as daunting as you might think. Part of that is down to the ZF eight speed automatic gearbox, which really does make driving an awful lot easier. And that is super smooth. It's as good as any automatic gearbox in any modern car. Visibility is great too, with these twin lens bus style mirrors, which give you fantastic views down both sides of the vehicle. But one of the big differences compared with some A-Class models is the view out of the windscreen to the front of the vehicle. You can actually see the road much closer to the vehicle because of this sloping dashboard. It's a Cotago sales point and it really is worth looking at. Now this steering wheel might look as if it belongs in a 1960s Alfa Romeo sports car, but it does have a purpose. When you arrive on site, you just undo a couple of catches and it lifts out of the way to make swiveling this seat much easier. There's a bit of a trademark Cotago feel to this lovely six seater lounge, all trimmed in beautiful leather. The round table, well, six of you could get around the round table, no trouble at all, and it slides out of the way or to one side when you don't want it, although it is permanently sighted. But the things I really like are the TV, very neatly just slides up from behind the sofa. And then when you've finished watching telly, the sofa, just pull a strap so that you can really relax. At first glance, this might look much like many other European motorhome kitchens, but there's a lot to see. This Corian style worktop is very nice. The sink cover flips in and makes a little worktop there. The tap has a shower hose style extension. There's kitchen roll holder, even an egg timer. Then all the drawers, and there are lots of them, lock 
and unlock centrally. And if you forget to press that button when you drive off, it does it for you. Drawers include bottle storage, waste bins, everything you could think of really. They've even provided Cartago branded glasses. Then over on the other side, you've got the usual fridge, freezer and tech tower with the oven and grill up, up above, but you will want to be tall to cook in this motorhome if you're using that oven and grill. It's very high even for me. Another Cartago speciality, if you like, is these clocks over the door. Don't they look very yacht-like? And then hidden behind this uh, translucent panel are the control panels for the inverter, the Aldi heating and general lights and water systems and so on. Um, and of course the satellite dish. But the translucent panel hides them away so that the lights don't disturb you at night. And then the double floor doesn't just offer storage from the outside of the vehicle. There's storage from inside and also access to key servicing issues like the water pump, fresh and waste water dump valves and so on. Then it's up a small step to the ensuite bedroom with twin wardrobes either side of the bed and a third wardrobe here next to the shower. Now the shower isn't just any motorhome shower, it's got this sort of power shower unit at the top and a little handheld shower as well to reach your extremities. Then on the other side of the vehicle the toilet room door actually folds around and shuts off the back half of the vehicle as a private area. The cassette loo too has its own special feature. When the cassette itself is full, you just press a button and as an optional extra, then you have this sewage tank, which will give you much greater independence from site facilities and emptying facilities. There's just a curtain to provide privacy between the bedroom and the shower toilet area. But once you're into the bedroom, what a bedroom. It's got a really good size island bed with good access from either side. And then these wardrobes have a neat touch in that as you open the door, they bring the hanging rail closer to you. How about that for a, a neat little touch? Another neat little touch is these recesses at either side of the head of the bed. So you've got somewhere to put your reading book, glass of water, your specs, whatever at night. So if you want the ultimate in German quality, a bit of style and a vehicle that you really could live in long term, take a close look at this S Plus. And if you're not completely sold on the Iveco version, they do the E-Line, which is pretty much the same thing on a Fiat Ducato Alco chassis. Right, summer's coming. I think all I need to do is hitch up the speedboat and, uh, well, Cote d'Azur, here we come. <laughs>